the objective of this video is to grab some basic uh, exponential curves. I uh, may be uh, doing a few videos on this exponential curve, which is very useful in real life. So let us start with the basic exponential curves. Here, y is equal to 2 to the power x. Now, one of the best ways to graph is to take some points and graph and see how uh, the graph behaves or how the curve behaves. So let us start uh, by making a table, a table of set of numbers. So this is x and y. So what happens? Let us start with x is equal to 0. When x is 0, this is 2 to the power 0. I hope you know 2 to the power 0 is 1. That means when x is 0, y is 1. We'll plot that later. So when x is 1, this is 2 to the power 1, which is 2. So when x is 2, y is 2 to the power 2, which is 4. When x is 3, this is 2 to the power 3. You can use a calculator. I know these powers by heart. So 2 to the power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. When x is 4, it's 2 to the power 4, which is 16. I want you to look at x and y. What's happening as x is becoming bigger? What's the rate of change of y? When x is 5, this is 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. So you're just multiplying by 2 to this, if you can understand the pattern. So it's 6 is 2 to the power of 6. So 32 times 2 is 64. When x is 7, this is 2 to the power 7, which is 128. Now from these values, so let me, the, uh, the 2, 1 is, say, yeah. Okay, we cannot plot all the points. When x is 1, y is 2. Okay, 2, it is 4. When it is 3, it is 8. I think you can't plot more than that. So from this, from these values, what is that you can see? How can you describe this? How can you generalize this? So I can, well, I can say when x is approaching positive infinity, when x becomes bigger and bigger, what will happen to y? How can you say that? How can you describe it? y would be approaching. Uh, in fact, when x is approaching, even not, even not infinity, suppose if you go 2 to the power 10, so let me use a calculator, I don't know what's 2 to the power 10. Even if you go 2 to the power 10, is a huge number, 1,000. So as you go 2 to the power 20, this is going to be exponential. So it's going to exponentially increase. Even in 20, it is this huge number. 2 to the power, say, 30 is this number. So as uh, x becomes bigger, you can say y is approaching infinity, positive infinity. Okay, so graph will go steeply up. Okay, now let us go to the negative branch of the negative values. So what happens when x is, let me use a different color, so uh, say red. When x is negative 1, this is 2 to the power negative 1, which is 1 over 2. You can use a calculator, which is 0 0.5. Again, I want you to see the pattern there. When x is negative 2, this is 2 to the power negative 2, which is 1 over 2 squared. You should know the power rules, which is 1 quarter, which is 0 0.25. Okay, so when x is negative 3, this is 2 to the power negative 3, 2 to the power uh, negative 3. So this is, I hope you can see the pattern now, negative 3 will be 1 over 2 cube. This is 1 over 8. So what's happening? Can you see the pattern here? So this is 0 0.125. So this is getting halved. Point, half of 0.5 is 0.25. So using the same logic, this will be 2 to the power negative 4, which is 1 over 2 to the power 4, which is 1 over 16. So that's half of this. So this is, I hope I'm right, so this is 0. Point uh, 6 to 5. Am I right? I'm not sure. So let me check it on the calculator. 
2 raised to negative 4 is 0 0.0625. Yeah, I was a bit hesitant. So can you see when, can we, how can you describe this in a general way? So I'm going to talk about this. If you want to talk about these values, when x, when x is approaching negative infinity, when x is approaching negative infinity, what's happening to y? y is approaching zero. This is never going to become zero, but it will be very close to zero. So let me plot some points so that you can see the pattern. So when x is negative one, this is 0 0.5 yeah, somewhere here. Yeah. So let me use uh, the brown color. So when x is negative one, this is 0 0.5. You can't, this is when it's negative 0 0.25. And it's very difficult to plot. So here, in other words, when x, your x-axis, this implies when y is approaching 0, means your x-axis becomes an asymptote. I hope you understand on the x-axis, your y values are 0. That means your x-axis is an asymptote. That means your y value is never going to become zero, but it's going to be closer and closer to zero. So if you want to graph this, we check this on the calculator. We use a blue color, blue color. So this will be approaching zero. It's not going to touch your x-axis, and your graph is going to go over these points. So this is, uh, let me draw this properly. So this goes like this. So this is the graph of y is equal to 2 to the power x. So now the mean, as an examiner, which are the points that uh, an examiner is looking at? They want to see whether you can identify the y-intercept. Okay, your y, This is your y-intercept. So we'll use, this is the y-intercept. They want to see whether you're able to identify the asymptote. So I will say this is my asymptote. The x-axis is your, these are the two main things they want to see as an examiner for graphing ex, uh, an uh, exponential graph. So this is first point, the first thing you need to identify the y-intercept and you need to as, uh, identify the asymptote. So here your x-axis is an asymptote. So as, as a practice, so uh, you to denote an asymptote, it is shown by a dotted line. So I will draw a dotted line here to show that this graph is never going to touch this axis. 